All right, everyone, the early release patch notes for the upcoming update are out. And of course, we know we are getting Final Boss Merlin. So what I wanted to do today is share with you guys some general tips to prepare for Final Boss Merlin. But really importantly, I wanted to emphasize that I'm giving you general tips. I do not want to give you guys an exact list of units yet because the encounter is not released. And depending on how the scoring mechanism works in order to reach a high score, units might be different. And we don't know exactly how that's going to work yet. So a suggestion I would give to you guys what i'm gonna do is wait a couple of days and see what the top teams are doing what the whales are doing and kind of go off of that and as we actually get the encounter released and more experimentation is done then i'll be able to make a follow-up video telling you guys which units are going to be best so let's talk about the general tips though now we have the early release maintenance something important about this is notice that it actually is a bit earlier than the regular maintenances starting at six o'clock p.m pacific standard time instead of i believe they usually start at 10 o'clock and of course it runs until 8 30 so two and a half hours now there's a couple of other cool things that are coming as well but with these maintenance notice this is just the early one and we'll have more detailed information soon so i'll give you guys more important information about this update as we actually learn more info so let's get into those general tips here to prepare for final boss merlin so first of all let's talk about actually farming the encounter and getting the points to clear out the shop and there's two different approaches that you can actually do now one of them is just rushing it and trying to clear the shop as quickly as you possibly can getting all those points right away and just buying out the shop and you could do this probably my guess would be in a couple of hours but in order to do this you're going to need stamina pots right uh, because you're going to be refilling your stamina in order to farm the encounter and final bosses take a lot of stamina as well so i would say if you have probably around 20 or so stamina pots just saved and in reserve you should be pretty good to go to be able to farm out the encounter and get most if not all of the points that you need maybe save 30 35 just to be on the safe side but generally speaking you are going to get what is it 10 13 16 points uh for uh 20 30 stamina so you know you're looking at a bit less than one point per uh stamina so maybe 50 points per refill uh, it takes around a thousand or so points to buy out the shop i believe maybe if you don't want to buy out absolutely everything but i think around 20 to 30 stamina pots should do the trick now that's if you want to completely rush it though the other option is to just use your natural stamina regeneration because the fight is probably going to be out for two weeks that was what we had for gother and just having your natural regeneration is going to be more than enough over the course of the final boss in order to clear out the shop now an important note about that though is that while the encounter might last for two weeks i would try to get as much done in the first week as possible because we are actually entering an off week where we do not have half stamina events we are just ending half stamina on book farming and that means this whole next week when final boss merlin comes out there's no half stamina and it's a great time to use your stamina for the actual final boss the second week though um you might want to end up going back to half stamina events it really just kind of depends on what you need for your account so those are the two different ways to actually farm the encounter itself now another thing is actually preparing the actual units that you're going to use without getting into the actual detail of those units so what you want to do is actually be one step behind you want to have everything ready to get a unit from you know the point right when you actually pull it all the way up to you are six star fully maxed out and ready to use in the final boss merlin encounter but what you do not want to do is actually work on those units right now because we still don't know which units are going to be best in order to reach those top high scores but if you have everything ready you're just going to be able to do it right away and you won't have to make that mistake of working on units right now that you think are going to be good but not being sure and then realizing that they're not actually good and now not being able to get back all those resources that you just put into a certain unit so just kind of going through here a couple of important things of course enhancement experience make sure that you have experience items in order to max out units that you might work on awakening of course very important make sure that you have not only the chalices and the cups in order to awaken but actually the materials as well from all the chapters in order to get all the way up from one to six star 
another thing that is important is uh, equipment. I'll talk about in a second here because I think you could always just switch around equipment. That's not something you need to really necessarily do right now, but maybe if your equipment is really far behind, take an opportunity to actually improve and work on it. That's something that I actually really need to do. Another important one though is gold. Gold is important. We've got half stamina on books right now at the time of me recording this video, but by the time that I put it out, it might not be around, uh, be out anymore, but it's always important to at least have some reserve gold for situations like this. You do not have to go overboard. I have an absolute mad man amount of gold I, I i can't even describe it i go crazy i know but just have a, you know a couple of million or so uh more of the better obviously but you know 10 million or so it should be fine in order to do all the things that you're going to need to do to work on units for the encounter when it's actually released but doing all that stuff like enhancing awakening and all that uh, does take a lot of gold so now, if you really want to take it to the next level as well, make sure that you are adequately prepared on food. Now, I don't know exactly what food is going to be best for the encounter. It all depends on what we actually need in order to get the most amount of points. But just having a good supply of all of the food that you use, you know, most frequently for regular encounters. Things like ultimate food, attack food, HP food, lifesteal, pierce rate combat class those are off the top of my head the foods that i tend to end up using the most so even if you don't decide to make it at least just have some of the ingredients prepared here so that when you do find out what food's going to be best uh you can end up using it and that'll probably also speed up your farming as well and help you clear out the shop so Anyway, that's going to be it for the info in the video today. I hope that you guys enjoyed and that this video helped out. And if you enjoyed and you want more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. Really do appreciate all the support, everyone. We passed over 6,000 subscribers lately, which is absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. If you want to leave a quick like as well, it only takes about a quarter of a second and it means more than you can imagine. So thank you so much to all of you who decide to do that. And more 7 Deadly Sins, Grand Cross Global videos, guides, tutorials, and all that fun stuff just like this should be popping up on the screen right about now or they may be in the suggested videos to your right or below feel free to check them out but if not until next time have a fantastic day everyone take care and this is salt of the salty guild signing out